Hello from brothers and sisters, did you ever find this kind of players? Amazing central defender with terrible jumping and what should you do? Should you sign this kind of players? I mean if you find this kind of players of course you should sign them especially if they are free agents even if they are not that uh, expensive. Yes why not? But in this video I will show what to do. I mean what is the best position and what to do with these kind of players. So if you have this kind of amazing central defender with a terrible jumping my idea is first we are going to test this. I am going to use him as a central back but I am going to use him as a stopper. Why? Because if he's going to play cover he's going to clear the ball up there and he doesn't have jumping so he's going to, to be really poor in this so I'm going to use him as a stopper and we will see what is going to happen then second thing that we can do we can retrain him to play as inverted wing back why not with inverted wing back support duty I mean with this technical attributes this passing um, he can play that really well with this speed why not or we can retrain him as a DM we, I, I'm going to try all these things and we will see uh, what is the best position and how is he going to perform but first let's see how is he going to perform as a stopper as I said don't use him if you have a uh, central defender with a really low jumping don't use him as a central defender cover just stopper someone who is going to chase the other players using his speed and he will try to be in front of uh, opponent strikers attackers uh, this is why uh, jumping won't be that important I, at least I hope that so let's try him a ball playing defender stopper okay season is over he was playing as a ball playing defender stopper uh, but I pair him with one very tall striker I mean central defender and that was Dino Peric uh, this is the reason because he's unbelievable in the air jumping reach 18 heading 16 and I pair him with my uh, Kolakovic who is not uh, great in the air we all know this but very fast so these two played really fantastic if you ask me one is clearing the ball the other was chasing the other strikers so they did really well as I said we won the title really easy uh, we had 94 points uh, Rijeka was second 61 point but let's see how many goals we have conceded with this defense team little stats is saying that we have conceded uh, we scored 109 but let's see how much uh, we have conceded 32 goals the best in the league Hajduk second place with 46 goals in the league I mean let's say that uh, Tactic did a good job but still I had unbelievable pair of central defenders I mean, uh, I, I mean I had one fantastic central that was Silvio Kolakovic young fellow 26 games he was injured in some matches but he scored nine goals and had nine assists the reason why because he had unbelievable corners also he had a nice free kick taking this is how he was scoring most of the goals in defense he did an amazing job I will see he improved jumping but this is still really weak for a central defender anyway so if you're going to use him as a ball playing defender you need to use him as a stopper and pair him with one really tall strike uh, central defender uh, second thing that we can do with this kind of central defenders is to use them as a DMs or half backs so I'm going to do this uh, I, next season I'm going to use him as a DM we will see how is he going to perform so second season is over and I was using Kolak which is a DM right now why because I think this is maybe the best position for him better than C, uh, the CB yeah and if we see he's growing a bit jumping is now 8 uh, but still this is not great for uh, CB as a DM still he's not uh, he didn't uh, this is not his natural position so still need to learn this position but the, uh, he can play Segundo Volante really fantastic answer he came in half back defensive midfield almost five stars with these attributes that's not a miracle he's wanted by so many clubs like this Arsenal Liverpool Manchester United uh, he's a real monster what to say about this kid and let's see how did he perform as a DM I want to check this uh, we see that his average rating was 7.18 and not the average rating like as CB yeah that's a normal thing I mean but still he had 16 assists as a DM with my tactic I don't know what you think this DM is not that uh, attacking so I don't know maybe I should use him as a Segundo Volante he would play even better uh, 11 goals what to say about him yeah uh, most of goals were long shots yeah I saw that anyway uh, we see that uh, we can uh, in these situations you can retrain this kind of uh, CBs to DMs why not also third thing that uh, you could do is to retrain him to play as inverted wing back with these attributes that's a normal thing so inverted wing back support duty that's my opinion maybe I should use him uh, in the third season as inverted wing back and let's see how is he going to perform 
third season is over now i was using him as an inverted wing back uh, and let's see how did he perform we see that now he mastered almost uh, this position it's okay and now let's see how did he perform we won the title again but that's not that important it's important it's important to see how did he perform 47 games 18 assists 11 goals average rating 7.21 so what to say about silvio and about uh, these kind of players with the low jumping low heading and with, with incredible tackling technique passing skills i mean uh in my opinion uh, the best option is to use him as a dm yeah that's my opinion but actually you saw that he performed really well as a central defender i mean uh stopper he also played really great as a central defender stopper didn't play bad as inverted wing bad either so he had many uh, assists he had also he scored a couple of goals so what to say uh, don't think too much if you have this kind of players uh, use them as a DM that's my opinion that's the best role and thanks for watching see you and bye bye